this is just for the comments like people have got questions and stuff cool so we should now be live on where are we youtube facebook group and my facebook profile i believe uh, and we've got super big announcement today um something proper excited that i want to share with you whilst joined here today by ben armstrong say hey ben how you doing guys all right so i'm actually going to give it we'll give it a couple of minutes let people jump on and sign on and double check that we are actually live which I can't see in this group, which isn't a good start. There we go. Cool. Got seven people watching in the group. What's up? Just drop us a comment below. Let us know who's watching. Let us know where you're watching from. Um, I do believe we are also live on YouTube, um, which is probably where the majority of people will be watching from. However, I'm not tech savvy enough to go and check that right now. So anyway, um, Welcome to a live, not just announcement, but kind of like interview as well with uh, my good buddy and I guess you could say colleague, mm -hmm. Ben yeah. uh, Armstrong. So Ben's basically just jumping on. I want to uh, obviously announce to you, first of all, um, something really cool, something really uh, wicked that we've been working on together and we're going to continue working on. As many of you will be aware, there's plenty of people jumping on now. Again, drop us a comment below. Let us know who's watching. Let us know where you're watching from. If you're watching on YouTube, um, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell to get notifications for when I'm going live and dropping loads of bombs for you. Um, so back to the topic of today, Ben. Ben is my good buddy. Um, and he's actually uh, family now, aren't you? Cousin, yeah. my cousin's uh, boyfriend. Yeah. Um, and Ben is really here to share some of his insights into, what would you say? What would you call it? Um, like, I'm a videographer by trade, so video marketing, how to get um, good quality videos out there um, about your business and things to maybe think about in your life to help a little bit more creativity as well. That's what he's helping me do with uh, for you guys with our content. But today we're going to be talking about Ben's spiritual side and um, his yogi side, his meditation side, his spirituality side. Uh, holistic, right? Holistic yeah, is the word. So Ben is basically um, going to be joining us as a um, holistic type coach and he's going to be doing some meditation work with us he's going to be uh, dropping some gold and some bombs and some value for all of you guys who are getting started out in your business journey who have perhaps been neglecting that side of things right so that's uh, really cool um however the the topic of today is i actually want to interview ben i'm going to ask him a few questions so you guys can actually get to know him get to know his face because you will be seeing him in my content normally he's behind the camera um, but there will be times like today where he's in front of the camera and he shares his wisdom in the holistic side. So why is Ben going to be talking to, talking to us about uh, meditation, uh, relaxation, exercise, eating healthily, diet, all of that good stuff that you often hear me banging on about? Um, and that is because he's actually my coach, right? So he's training me uh, in boxing. Um, he's helping me out with meditation. And he's basically all around trying to make me a better person as well as make me look much better on camera. And I hadn't had a shave today, which he hasn't noticed, um, which is cool. So we're just going to dive in and do a quick interview with Ben, get to know him, get to know his background um, so that you guys can get ready for thick and fast, free, life-changing content that I'm going to be pushing out through the Facebook group that you may be watching this through or the YouTube channel that I'm working on as well, James Hopkins Coaching. Again, subscribe if you're watching over there. But I'm basically going to be pumping out new, fresh content at least three or four times a week that's really going to help you in your personal development and business goals. So there's going to be a lots of stuff like the, the spirituality side, the personal development side, in combination with business tools, tactics, strategy, all of the good stuff that you follow me for uh, and are very aware of right now. So without further ado, um, let's get to know Ben, right? If, by the way, if anybody um, who is watching this has comments, uh, wants to ask Ben questions, 
uh, please do drop me a comment in the chat box, right? In the uh, in the comments on Facebook or in the comments on YouTube. Uh, and yes, Chris, I will try and keep my hands away from my face as your last advice went. So thank you for that. Um, ben, yes. do you want to say hey to the marketeers and the marketeer followers? Hey, guys. How are you doing? Um, yeah, my name is Ben Armstrong. Uh, I'm a videographer by trades. Um, I work with you know digital content, things like that. I edit, I film, um, I become creative. I work with people as well to help build up their content and their profile you know, with a bit of photography and things like that. Um, but like James said, I'm also um, like a training coach. So I do care a lot about my mind, body and soul connection. And I believe these kind of things really help me be creative, be more in the moment and have um, a better driving force in myself to create and build because you have to connect with people. And I think connecting mm. with James, like I have, you know, we have a good understanding of what we want to create. So therefore we have a good communication like system in place for us to build things together. And really that's what I've always wanted to do. Mm. And that's what I'm all about at the moment, really. And, you know, training um, in yoga, because I'm a yoga instructor as well, and training in boxing, because I've done a lot of that in martial arts all the time. Um, so it's really just passing on the knowledge I know um, and, you know, creating a good bond in this lifestyle coaching. Yeah. So Ben's basically, Ben's background, um, professional side, right? Yes. You, How long have you been running your um, videographer, photography business for, first um, of all? Well, I've been uh, a videographer. I started off about five years ago just posting some travel videos online, some really bad ones as well. I just took a GoPro to Mexico and I filmed everything, put it together, and I loved it so much that all I was interested in was learning and growing and trying to be a better videographer, better editor, better storyteller. So I basically just put a lot of time and effort into taking moments from my day to learn something new, to build and become a better videographer. So I was just posting on um, Facebook, just some nice little videos of me on holiday. And then one day I had a magazine get in touch with me, asked me if I wanted to do some work with them. So that's what I did. I, I was just like, yeah, why not? I wasn't really ready. I wasn't that good at videography and you know photography and that kind of thing. But I just wanted to go with the flow and I was happy to put out work for free to get um an understanding and get better credibility so, yeah credibility yeah exactly yeah. so um yeah that's what i did and it grew from there and even though with the magazine there was a lot of things they wanted for free from me after a while i started to see what i was worth as a videographer from comments from people and i stepped away from that work into like went into the video uh, and wedding industry and I started filming weddings, which I absolutely love. So I do a bit of wedding videography. I do a lot of working with YouTubers and things like that and building content. And I just sort of, I, I allowed my journey just to sort of fall and flow freely. And I just, I went with it. I just said yes a lot and pushed the boundaries, even though I wasn't ready as such. or I didn't think I was ready. Confidence came when I started making decisions, you know? yeah yeah so how how many years have you been filming weddings for right and you're in the kind of current climate that you do now so I've if been, covid wasn't yeah cancelling weddings right yeah 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 covid is definitely cancelling weddings um the beauty of being in cyprus is weddings are still going on mm. um but I've been, or it's moving them back a year it's not yeah, cancelling them it's moved yeah. back so like how long have you been running the wedding photography oh, just business the wedding, yeah, yeah yeah the wedding video business i've been running professionally for about three years i think my first ever cool. wedding i did free again because i just wanted that opportunity they didn't really want um a wedding videographer but the photographer i worked with said yes i want you in there mm. he, got him, he, he said yes they want you to come as a videographer so yeah i was, I was there filming are. for free and i loved it so much that that's what i wanted to do so i just started to make a bit of a blueprint and i tried to understand how i could get on the market and compete with really good people yeah cool so let's talk a little bit about your uh personal development side because this is where i feel you can bring a lot of value to me 
first of all, as you are doing, but yeah. not just me, um, our clients and our students, marketeers. Um, so let's talk a little bit about that. So give us your kind of background in what are you into, right? For me, I like boxing, I like training, yeah. I like weightlifting, I like keeping fit, yeah. I like meditation. What yeah. you, tell us about you, because you've been into boxing before. So like, just give us a kind of rundown of your, your personal development journey. When did you first start paying attention to yourself, physically, right. mentally, spiritually, and kind of sure. take us through that journey? Okay. Over the last sort of few years or however long it's been. Sure. So I've even as a kid, I've always been quite spiritual. And I've always been athletic as a kid. But like I knew I was quite sensitive. And maybe I when I was in the UK I didn't really feel so much I fit in. I just thought differently. So a bit closer to the mic. I'm oh, sorry. Um I thought a little bit differently. Um so I was playing a lot of rugby as a kid, you know, I had trials for the East District and you know, big teams and I just always was very creative mentally, you know. So I think I developed this understanding when I was when I began to like box and do martial arts. So there was like more of a spiritual side to it and more of a thinking and balance side. So I really sort of delved into that and started to read books on spirituality, you know, some people who were um like monks and how they lived their lives but also you know with samurais and people like that um and i just sort of developed this um i i, I developed an understanding to really be balanced when i was it wasn't just about hitting you know when you're boxing it's really about thinking strategy how am i going to move how is the flow going through my body and it was like this internal creativity that was helping me move helping me flow helping me understand and i allowed that to sort of blossom and grow and like really tapped into that and that's what made me like a good a good training partner a good you know sparer a good boxer you know and that's why i enjoyed martial arts because of this like amazing spiritual side to it as well it wasn't just the physical it wasn't just hard hitting it was about the balance it was about like understanding my body and how it moves um so i just grew from there and I, i've always been interested in spirituality i've always read books i've never allowed people to like knock that down because a lot of people out there don't really understand you know spirituality and things like that so i just was happy delving into it reading books about it watching youtube videos you know and creating people you know allowing people to come around me who were spiritual um and you know towards you know my let you know currently we're actually wanting to delve in more to like the yoga side of life and more of a calm understanding of life that's really where my mind is i still train i still coach people boxing and things like that i, I teach people yoga as well and all these i'm just i'm just giving people the knowledge that i know you know and for me that's what i love doing how i love helping people and being creative with people. So that's what I put all my time and energy into. And I knew when I had my nine to five job or when I was like working really hard, I always knew there was something better I could be doing where I could live a better and, and a more mature life for myself, you know, more of a balanced life, you know, because stress and heavy duty jobs and all the, you know, chaos of, stressful living and things like that get on top of you so i always knew i could find a way of trying to get away from that and so i just went with my heart and i always knew i could film i always knew i had creativity so i just put those two together and i just went for it you know mm. i made i made 20 minutes a day of just time out to like build and give myself that time but also i set myself up so every day i wake up in the morning and i start my day properly i do some yoga i do some meditation I, I eat healthy and I just work from there. And from there, my mindset is created in the morning to have a successful day. So how how has the, the focus on personal development, yoga, meditation, exercise, mindfulness, trip to India to live with the monks for a month? We're yeah. going to go into that, um, I'm pretty sure, shortly. But how, how do you feel that, that that, having a focus on that, the personal development side of your life, how do you feel that that has helped you be successful in your own business for say the last three years? Yeah. What, what's it helped you in terms of like your drive, your motivation? 
how does an important focus on that stuff mm -hmm. transfer across into the business that you've built and been working in for the last three years on your own okay how do you tie the two things together is well what I mean? the thing i think it all begins with self-love you know and i think the starting points for any good business is understanding yourself first and your needs and what you want to create it's pointless creating something that you're not interested in or you're not passionate about so you need to take time to like find balance in yourself to figure out these things that you love and the things that you enjoy um and really like dedicate some time for how your mind works what you need and me giving myself good nutrition giving myself you know um, a spiritual side, giving myself time to meditate, do yoga. My body feels better. I feel more relaxed. I can be more in the moment. I don't have all these aches and pains. I'm not stressing too much. My mind is in the moment. Like now I'm speaking to you. Um, I'm focused on you. I'm not focused on what these people might think, what I'm going to do after this. Really all I care about is giving my knowledge and an understanding of who I am because I'm open to be open. You know, like I'm happy to be, you know, to be speaking about something honest. I'm not making stuff up. If I was making stuff up, you'd see a different kind of bend here. But because I'm just be giving you my story and giving you, you know, things that have helped me and benefited me, if they can just benefit one person on this, uh, the other side of this camera, that's that's me. I've done it. I'm happy with my day. Yeah. You know, and that's what's important. So really all these little things the yoga the, the training the meditation the relationships around me, all these things are really important like my relationships i give time to i keep people who keep me motivated around me because that's important too mm -hmm. you know like your this Circle is what holistic influence. is it's it's really about your relationships your spiritual your body your mind you know what i mean and your business and the relationships you you gather from that so it's it's really just having a overall look at what's around you what can i work on can i add a bit of this and with this balance around me i can then create something you know if you have a circle and you have a center you take that center because i've got this good unit around me i can go through that center and have a clear mind know the people around me are supporting me know they're helping me be creative they're, you know they're really sort of guiding me and i'm looking up to people around me it's all those things help me make good videos make good content i'm, I'm not scared to fail mm. you know I'm, I'm happy to because i just learn that's a massive lesson in itself right there and something that i go on about like all the time mm -hmm. um people's relationships with failure but what what would you say to somebody who's at the start of their business journey because that's typically you know who my audience is people who are, are just starting out in business who are thinking about starting out in business yeah. um and in all fairness like 99 percent of people who do get started out in business or who do want to start a business they have no concept to the value of personal development to the value of of reading yeah. right to the value of working out to the value of eating healthily yeah. feeling energetic right all of these things that have such a massive effect yeah what would you say to those people who are watching who are starting a business right now trying to start a business and have no real value or experience with the personal development side so they're trying yeah, to start okay. a business but yeah. ha still don't have their daily disciplines in place like working yeah. out like meditating mm -hmm. eating healthfully exercise all of those things yeah. what advice would you give to people who don't have a, a handle on those things but uh running the hamster wheel trying to get a business off the ground without looking after themselves um i would say the most important thing is to to figure out what your gift is we all have gifts we all are good at something you know mm -hmm. what is what is your gift um and when you put your gift in the front of your mind every morning that gives you the reason to get up that gives you the reason to meditate because you want that gift to grow you want to be better at you know my gift is good at connecting with people creating so i need to make sure i'm in tune with that therefore i need to get up in the morning i need to have a clear mind the only way i can have a clear mind is if i meditate so and have like good people around me as well you know this i think will smith said you know are people pissing on your fire or are they allowing it to to grow mm. you know and these people too many fire pisses around yeah <laughs> there is exactly but it's it's really just about 
figuring out what you enjoy and you know it's, it's taking time for yourself to allow these things to grow so allow you yourself to grow yeah as exactly well, that's, that's, that's all your your you know your journey is people who are watching this who either do work with uh, me and my team or who don't like when you're starting out in a business everybody thinks it's all about the tools the tactics the strategies the running mm. ads the getting clients the making money that like all of that stuff follows mm. but you can't be world class at mm. just about anything really without having a looking inside and looking at how can i be a better person how can i live my life better how can i be more energetic again going back to meditation uh breathing exercises wim hof you guys will know all about that um so i feel like you know we've got we've got no to ben uh we've got known we've got to know ben um to some degree uh, and i want you all to remember his face because you will be seeing him um around which is cool he's going to be my right hand content man yeah. right helping me out bringing you you guys more action-packed content literally three four times a week mm -hmm. um on various different topics so just to give you an idea on monday we're most likely going to be focusing around mindset mindset monday tuesday is going to be a very similar transformation tuesday um all of this stuff by the way is going to be streamed through on the youtube channel and in the facebook group uh make sure again that you hit subscribe you follow the facebook group turn on your notifications so you get them uh wednesday a little bit of a win wednesday so i've got that coming for you as well to celebrate uh, my wins over the last week but also more importantly your wins over the last week as well to keep that positive flywheel of momentum moving forward for everybody as a community um thursday uh we're gonna have a 10 minute guided meditation with ben i believe this is all the plan not necessarily going to be like this every single week day in day out uh we'll try and keep it as con consistent as possible um so you'll be seeing or at least hearing ben regularly on that on a, on a thursday as well um and on a friday we're going to have a bit of fun on a friday and we're going to make some uh some cool videos of uh, of us doing you know living the lifestyle that uh, we've worked very very hard as i'm sure you can appreciate to build which is obviously what uh, most of you guys who are watching uh here uh, as well so that's the kind of an insight into where we're going to be going and the type of content, this type of things that you're going to be seeing and engaging with, with me following the James Hopkins coaching YouTube channel or the Lifestyle Marketeer uh, Facebook group. So we've got all of that stuff coming. And um, there's also going to be lots of um, training, uh, deep dives into um, tactics strategies all of the stuff that that you know um everybody is here to learn as well into the business side we're going to be talking sales we're going to be talking marketing we're going to be talking client acquisition we're going to be talking ads we're going to be talking about everything digital marketing and running your own digital advertising business so in summary i think that'll about do for today i want to say a massive thank you to my trainer videographer spiritual uh mentor coach um ben for taking the time out to jump on and talk to us as well we've actually literally just done a a workout um and i believe going to be doing some yoga with arissa as well after this aren't you yeah. so uh ben thank you very much don't know if you just want to say any say look forward to it <laughs> or anything <laughs> um, like that what we've got to come for everyone yeah basically i want to say just keep doing what you're doing guys if you're here and you're interested in developing then you're already on the right track just a little bit of this every day will make you go far you just have to keep at it keep consistent never give up and just try and work on the things that you love the things that you love and inspire you will help you grow and help you live a, a good life so never deviate you know deviate away from that plan yeah just keep doing what you're doing you know this is this is what it's all about is just finding That's... time for yourself finding things that make you happy Definitely. just keep driving and when you create a business that you love man that is that is so much fun that is and that the life is that goes with it yeah, exactly. absolutely so we're, we're we're kind of shifting gears a little bit and and we're not just going to be here to talk all about business and and you know all of the stuff that that you're used to hearing me um and the team talk about we're also going to be uh, focusing as i said a lot more on the um the background what actually makes somebody a successful human being so that that successful human being uh in their own right can then 
succeed in their business. So we're going to have a, a real large focus, obviously, around the uh, the personal development side um, and the entertainment side, right? That's what we're here to do. So thank you very much for everybody for watching this video. Again, if you're watching this, drop me a comment below. Let me know what you thought of this video. Um, hit subscribe on YouTube, turn on the bell notification so you know when we're going live and when I'm releasing new content. Going to be coming at you thick and fast. I'm loving the direction and I can't wait to uh, deliver more and more golden value to you. So peace and love, everyone. Have a wicked day. Keep doing what you're doing and you'll see us both very, very shortly. See you later, guys. See you soon. Bye.